welcome back to the channel. I'm Odi J and we are locked in. It was another intense week of Power Book 4 and Episode 5 gave us everything we've been asking for in this Tommy spinoff. Now we know that Tommy is up 24-0 against the Serbs right now. But what I want to touch bases on is Jannard and what was his actual plan? Was he there to save Liliana at the end? Or was he there to try to put a hit on Tommy? Because we've seen how he was looking at Tommy, and I'm going to break down all of this. But first, shout out to the notification gang. If you're new to the channel, you want to be a part of it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Hit that like button. It's the easiest thing you can do. Now, we know that Jannar feels a certain way about Tommy and Liliana. We also know that he just lost his right hand man, Elijah, the one he's been telling the plan to. So I'm going to take us back. We're going to look at these specific scenes and we're going to come up with two different theories that I have on. Was he there to save Liliana or was this a hit on Tommy? So let's jump into it and see what Jannard has going on. What we know so far is Jannard has a plan. What he wants is CBI to be him and his brother Diamond. Diamond did 15 years. And he said that he built this organization up and he actually eclipsed where his brother was at before he got locked up. Now, Elijah is his right hand man. We've seen them out talking about how CBI may be splitting up, but at the end, they're all going to be up under Jannard. Jannard also lost a position as the highest ranking member in CBI when he fought his brother Diamond for this. So we know he's been on drugs. He's using a little bit, but that's because he's coping. He wanted this organization to be ran by two brothers. Elijah is the, the strongest person in Jannard's corner. So anything he does, you see that he always reaches back and talks to Elijah and tries to get his information on it. Now, he's upset because his brother started to branch out and do things with Vic and Tommy, two white boys that he barely knows, even though he was already trying to do drugs and make things happen with Vic. But you remember, they got set up. And the reason all of this happened is because Tommy came and saved him. It took some convincing for Diamond to get Jannard on board. We know that Jannard is the one bringing in all the muscle since Diamond's been gone. But what he hears is Tommy actually gave them that extra point. They split it 33-33 and then Diamond gets that 34, meaning they'll get the most amount of money. So Jannard is hearing this and it's looking like maybe him and his brother, they can continue to move forward because Diamond is telling them with this position that we're about to be put in, we can actually sit at the table. No other black guys have dealt with the Irish. No one has ever had this much power within Chicago. So Jannard hears it and he's thinking, all right, this may be a change of things. Now they come to an agreement. Let's go get this money, put our differences aside and working with Vic and Tommy may potentially work out and be the best deal that CBI has ever had. It's time to get ready to go take out the Serbs. We already know what we need to do. We're getting the crews together. Now, you see Jannard, he's right next to Diamond, and Diamond is being a good big brother, and he's telling him, you need to stay close to me because he knows this can get very serious, and he doesn't even know how Jannard is going to react in a situation like this since they haven't been in any shootouts together. Now, this is the moment I'm talking about where Jannard, he actually comes up to Tommy. We know they have their differences. We know how he feels towards Tommy, but he hears Tommy say, the reason I gave your brother Diamond that extra point so y'all can have 34% control is because it's the right thing to do. Tommy also said that well, you remember when they brought back the drugs and money that he took from Jannard and Vic. So it kind of looks like, okay, Jannard is listening to Tommy. He's like, maybe he might not be that bad, but that smirk that he did, that right there shows something else to me. So when I was seeing it, I still feel like he has a grudge against Tommy. And we're going to see this get a little bit deeper, even when we see Elijah getting killed. That was the turning point right there, which has me thinking about theory one, where he was actually there trying to shoot up Tommy. At the second shootout, this is where things start to change a little bit. We see Diamond telling Jannard to go upstairs and he takes Elijah with him. Now, I don't know what exactly happened, but Jannard went up the stairs first and Elijah came second. But Elijah ran out there and he got shot up. And this is where he actually gets killed at. Now, we see Jannard comes out here and he avenges his boy's death. But he sat here and watched his right hand man end up getting killed. So with this going on, he gets a little upset. and We actually see him take a glance over the wall and he actually looks at Tommy. So my theory is at the end of the episode, the reason he came and did the little drive by was to try to get at Tommy because he feels like if it wasn't for your plan to make us go in here and fight the Serbs who you had an issue with, then my boy Elijah wouldn't have died. And here's the image of him looking over down the rail and he sees Tommy as a clear shot. 
So my theory one is he came and he did the drive by because he felt like, let me go ahead and get rid of Tommy because this is a perfect opportunity. We still get our cut. We get rid of the Serbs. And now me and my brother, we can run things and have a partnership with just Vic. But then there's my second theory where I'm thinking he may have did the drive by to save Liliana. And this is because you remember she was kidnapped. They called Tommy, Mirkovic did, and he's like, we got your girl. We need to figure out something so we can get her. Cause right now we have her and I heard everything you've done. Now, Vic and Diamond already said that we did what we were supposed to do. Now we're about to go ahead and get on out of here. That's on you. But Jannard, he heard this and he didn't say anything. But we seen him and Liliana last week, they connected when he was kissing on the scar. He actually paid her her money back. Now, I don't know. It could go both ways, but I'm thinking this drive by was to either save Liliana or get rid of Tommy. I'm leaning towards saving Liliana and get rid of Tommy, two birds with one stone. And we see at the end, Tommy comes to get Liliana. Now they know exactly where Tommy lives now at the fire station. He comes out here, they're doing a little bit of negotiation, but Tommy, he hears the truck coming and we found out that it was Jannard. So Jannard, he comes by and shoots him up. Now he does hit Liliana, but I'm thinking he was trying to save her at any means necessary. You remember Vic said when it comes to getting money, we can put our differences aside and we can move forward. So that's why I'm thinking he potentially was trying to save her. But at the same time, if I got rid of Tommy, it wouldn't have been that much of a problem to me. And at the end of the episode, we see him torching the car and getting rid of it. Now, no one knows who did this drive by right now. Jannard is the only man. So I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that he was trying to save Liliana or was he trying to save Tommy and Liliana or the third option, save her and get rid of Tommy? Because it only makes sense. If you get rid of Tommy now, we don't have to deal with the Serbs anymore. We got the pipeline. We already got a little partnership with Vic. We make more money and I got my brother. Let me know what you guys think. There you go. I have two solid theories, saving Liliana or getting rid of Tommy. Or it could be option three where it was do both. Save her, get rid of Tommy. Let me know what you guys think. Or was Jannard just trying to save them both? We don't know yet, but I broke it down as much as I could. And I tried to show you th little things that I've noticed. Let me know what you guys think. I'm ModiJ. If you like the content on the channel, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Jimmy on a beat, boy.